the word YouTube? Why do we always have to clap when we do that, huh? We always have to clap when we, what's up? What's up? So today, like, always gotta clap, huh? Lex Vizzle. What's the word, YouTube? This is Lex Vay back at it again with another video for you guys. So as you can see from the description and the title, today we will be reviewing hair code. Now a lot of people that know me or that has came to me and asked questions about their natural hair knows that I have sent them the hair code first. And that's because I want to know what your texture is. I want to know exactly what I'm working with, what tips I can give you about your hair because I have type 4. I knew that before um, this survey, but a lot of people that have type 3, type 2, you know, I didn't know the proper products that they needed for their hair. So I would always send them the hair code. But recently I have been seeing that when people send me their results, I will see that they get the same products as a type 4 hair. You know what I'm saying? So the type 4 results will get the same products as a type 2 hair results. And I thought that was pretty weird and I thought maybe it was just a promotional thing. So I decided like, you know what, I recommend everybody to go to Hair Code. Let me try it. I've never even tried it, you know. I was just referring people to that website to get their hair texture and their hair type so I could help them with their products. But it's like now I don't even know if it's accurate because of the products. So I decided to take it in my own hands to take the survey and then get the products and see how well. How well they work you know so let's let's see let's see let's see so I decided to take the survey and I took the survey before I got on camera and it gave me um, my hair type as a uh, 4b sounds about right my cuticle health is a 2 my scalp health is a 1 now I don't know too much about scalp and cuticle health I didn't really ever look into it as much, but I maybe I might look into it now since I know. Honestly, right now with just the survey that I took, it does seem kind of accurate. Um, I did think I was a 4A with hair type. It's like 4A in certain areas, 4B, and then some places it's probably like a type 3. So when I did this survey, it gives you certain product. This is where the Pantene Gold Series comes in play. So they give you these products and actually all these products that they put in here are the same products some of my friends and family members have gotten when they had a whole different hair type. Now you see where I'm going. So they told me to get the shampoo, the conditioner, the buttercream, and the, the curl awakening spray, which I could not find in stores. And then my Black is Beautiful Deep Conditioner, which I couldn't find in stores as well. But we're not worried about those two products right now because I am not scheduled for a deep conditioner. And I do not, for the camera, I do not have to do a curl, awakening and spray because this is just going to be, you know, day one of my hair. Just showing you exactly what it does when my hair is completely dry. So I do want to get started because I'm kind of in a rush, like always. So yeah, let's see how this works. So as you can see, I do like to wash my hair for sections because it's easier to manage that way. So I just start off with one section by wetting it of course. Then I shampooed it with the Pantene Gold Series Shampoo. It was very, very fruity smelling. It was really good, it was like a citrus smell. And when I washed my hair with it, it made my hair super soft shockingly. I did not expect that from the shampoo. Now after that, I did use the conditioner. Sorry about not recording rinsing out the shampoo, but it was just so bad. Like it was horrible that the, the camera was just everywhere. So once I put the conditioner in, I twist it back up. And so when I do that, I let it sit like that, obviously. So like I said, the camera was not working out for me to be able to show you the process of me washing and conditioning each section. But once I got done putting the conditioner in, I basically took my shower, let it sit for a minute, and then I rinsed it out individually. So each section got rinsed out and twisted back up so it would be more manageable for when I was doing the styling process. So yeah. Now, once I was done, I do like to rinse my hair one more time just to make sure I got all the product out. So then, once I was done washing, I went ahead and used each section to start styling. So of course I start with the back. 
so this is what it looked like without any product in it and I was actually shocked on how soft it was honestly so obviously you know I love parting my hair into smaller sections so I parted that into two I used water the gold series buttercream and my favorite extreme styling gel <laughs> so I don't know how good that is for my hair but it works wonders so I'm gonna always use it until I find something way better so um, in the process of this I just used water um, detangled in between added the gold series buttercream and as you can see I'm really 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 just like playing with it in my hair because honestly I didn't like how it felt in my hair my ends felt so dry and I was shook I was like okay so let me add a little gel maybe that'll make it work you know what I'm saying so then I did the test where I brush and then shake you know and it just wasn't there so I added a little gel hoping that would work make it look a little bit better and you know it made it look a little bit better but I just wasn't too you know excited about the process anymore so I did want to speed up the process so you can see me doing it and now I'll be quiet and let you watch. All right, y'all, so it looks good on camera. I'm not gonna lie, it looks amazing on camera, you know what I'm saying, it looks really good. But in person, it's not the best. It is, um, it's okay, it's all right. Um, I would highly suggest these uh, products if you're just starting because they're super, super cheap. But this is not the best for my hair see like this side is a little defined and then this side is a little bit more frizzier especially up here it's not as defined as it should be but honestly I could actually say that's probably my fault I was rushing on the top of my head and like I said I have a looser texture so I really have to take time up here so I wouldn't say that the products don't work because as you can see like I said the top like the top of my head is the only part that's frizzy down here is a little bit more defined so I wouldn't say that it doesn't work, but um, it did make my hair super soft. My hair smells really good though. My hair feels super moisturized. Um, you know, it's just not as defined as I want it to be. I would possibly just use this for braid outs and twist outs because a wash and go just probably won't work for my hair texture. Now, if you have a softer or a looser curl pattern and they recommended these gold series products, they might work better for your hair. But they're really cool products if you're just starting and you don't know your curl pattern and things like that. But other than that, guys, yeah, it's all right. This is how I like my hair to look about two days after you know doing it like a little messy I don't like to look messy the first day because that means I'm not gonna be able to sleep and wear this again tomorrow because it's gonna be an afro so <sighs> it'll work though it'll do for today make sure you like subscribe and comment if you have done a hair code before go ahead and comment the code that you had and tell me how the products work for you if you tried them until next time guys until next time <laughs>